Hello and welcome back to English with Greg. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video called Don't Say I'm Fine, How Are You? And in that video, I gave you 10 more interesting answers to the question, how are you, than I'm fine, thank you, how are you? In response to that video, quite a few students wrote to me to say, what are some alternatives of saying how are you? So, in this video, I'm going to answer that question and I'm going to give you 10 different, very native ways of saying how are you in English. So, let's go. Okay, first I have to say that there is absolutely nothing wrong with saying how are you. There are two pronunciations of this though which you should take into account. One, we stress the word are and one, we stress the word you. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? These are both fine and both very, very common things to say to somebody when you first see them. But if you want to speak advanced English and bring more variety to your English, then these 10 words and expressions will help you do that. Before we do, just make sure you subscribe to my channel if your goal is to speak advanced English. And also check out the description to learn more ways of learning English with me. Right, let's go. Number one is, how have you been? How have you been? Listen to the pronunciation. How've you been? How have you been? And this is obviously a short contraction of how have you been. In other words, how are you? How were you? How have you been? So basically, I'm asking how are you, but I'm interested specifically in from the last moment I saw you until now. Between that period, how have you been? How have you been? Another very common one is, how are you doing? How are you doing? Now, when I ask this to my students, they very often reply with what they are doing. I say, how are you doing? And they, instead of saying, good thanks, they say, oh, I'm just doing some homework. Oh, I'm just studying. Oh, I was just looking at the internet. Not interested. I'm just saying, how are you doing? And the answer is, good thanks. The next one is, how is it going? How is it going? And again, the answer is usually, good thanks, not bad, or any one of the alternatives that I taught you in the other lesson I talked about earlier. Instead of going, we can say, hanging. Hanging. How is it hanging? How is it hanging? This is more informal and less common, but it's still a good thing to say to somebody when you first see them. Hey, how is it hanging? We can also say, how are things? How are things? Similar to how are you, but how are things? In other words, I'm not just asking about you, I'm asking about you, your family, your life, your job, your house, your kids. How are things? And instead of things, we can say tricks. This again is much more informal. We actually say it grammatically incorrectly. We say how's, how's tricks? How's tricks? Tricks is plural, so it should be how are tricks, but we generally say how's tricks. It's a nice expression, very colloquial, not formal, but a nice thing to say to a native speaker. How's tricks? If you haven't seen somebody for a long time, a very common expression to say when you see them is long time no see. Long time no see. This is a really, really common thing to say to somebody when you see them. And we usually follow this with, how have you been? Whoa, long time no see. How have you been? Number eight is, what's up? And this is more American than British. I have to admit that when I lived in America and people said, what's up to me, I didn't really know what to answer. Were they asking me what I was doing? Were they asking me how I was? I didn't really feel comfortable with that, but it's a very, very common greeting to say to people, hey, what's up? What's up? Just know that in British English, if somebody says what's up, it usually means what's the problem? 
What's the matter? Like, hey, what's up? Are you okay? Number nine is extremely common in informal English and it's simply, all right, all right. And this means, how are you? <laughs> the cool thing is that it also means, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? So when you see a friend, you can condense everything into two words. All right, all right. And then we move on with our life. And number 10 is a regional one that I am giving you. I am from Yorkshire in the north of England and we famously have a beautiful expression to mean, how are you? And the word is, a up, a up. If you ever meet somebody from the north of England, they will love you forever if you use this as a greeting. If you use it with somebody from the south of England, they will probably say, have you got a Yorkshire English teacher? And if you use it with an American, they will probably look very, very confused. But I love it. Hey up. Okay, so stop saying how are you. It's nice to use some other ways of saying how are you in English. And the next time you see a native speaker, be sure to use one of these beautiful native expressions with them. Trust me, you will impress them and your English will seem fantastic. Remember, if you want to take your English to an advanced level, then subscribe to my channel. I'll help you with your pronunciation, grammar and expressions. And check out my description to see more ways that you can learn English with me. All right, thanks for being here. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.